Good morning, Speed Gaming, and welcome to the best league, best week of the league season, or at least I think so. Uh, this is ALTTPR League Season Six, and it is Week Six for Cross Keys. Woo! Woo! In top life, we got for Motobashin and Cross Keys. I'm Radical Sniper ninety nine, joined today by Tracy with Nochibato on the tracking. Hello, Tracy. How you doing, Jesse? Yeah, this is. I'm doing amazing. This this is my favorite week too. I mean, we're going, and as I said yesterday, we're going from one chaos chaos to another. Um, yes, we had the perfectly known spoiler week two weeks ago. <laughs> Last yep. week, we had the absolutely bonkers, nobody knows what's right in Champions Ganon Hunt. And now we come to a well-tested mode that people love to play that is just pure chaos. And, and added bonus for, for chat, we've had three straight weeks where Ped just wasn't really a consideration, you know, between Ganon Tower big keys and uh, spoilers where we know where everything is, and last week uh, we, tri we had a Triforce there. A Ped seat actually has meaning this week, so, you know. Yeah. We'll see, we're, we're, we'll see some, I mean, I, I, I'm not rooting for that by any stretch, uh, but we could see that. We got double sank start, and it's at the pyramid. Oh, oh boy! And and both runners use one of my favorite sprites. I love the Yoshi sprite, and I love the, the egg sprite for the bunny. <laughs> so we could just call this egg walking. <laughs> ah, just a compass. I mean, I like compasses more than most, but that's kind of a disappointing <laughs> start when you have the pyramid. Yeah, we had two compasses. <laughs> we had a compass in sank and a compass on the pyramid. Yeah. Great start. And then we get a small key to pod. I mean, we need... yeah, we'll probably need yeah. some of those. <laughs> yeah, no, I like it. That looks like we're doing, uh, yep, we're going to do the traditional uh, hula hand start. Not my favorite start because it's slow, but it does get you yeah. money for bottle vendor in uh, Kakariko. So, you know, I will agree. I'm not much of a, I'm not much of a hula hand starter in this mode. I, I get I, the, the the schools of thought. It's just oh, not for sure. me. I, I feel like most of the time I get to the drop down here and just do it then. And if I have flippers at that point, then okay, well, I'll just get money another way because there's always lots of money in these seeds. 20 rupees in, in here in the uh, potion shop. I do hope we get mail upgrades, so I want to see what, what phases Yoshi turns into, in terms of color. We, we know what top lives looks like. <laughs> yeah. I, I've not seen the, the uh, black Yoshi for the green mail yet, so... Oh, we have Ganon here, so... Really want to get that, uh... That hula hand right, then. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do not want to well, say hello. Nope. <laughs> So the nice thing about finding Ganon right away is now we don't have to worry about uh, checking our drop downs before going down them. Yeah, I mean the only drop down you can get that you really don't want to see is the useless fairy drop down, but other than I that, mean, like the others are all decent enough. Yeah, I mean you lose a little bit of time on that one in the magic bat if you drop down without checking it, but it's not significant. It's not a save and quit out of Ganon's out of the Ganon fight that you can't do. And we are seeing a di our first divergence. Woo! Ooh, uh, a nice 50-50 got... on top life side. Two 50-50s, yeah. in fact. So we got top heading over to Kakariko, while FaZe is actually going to do a little bit of uh, some alternate checks. Looks like we're going to see at least the Lake Hylia stuff. I think this leads into Eastern, as we find Sick Kid and Chess Game. This game just giving us some arrows, and I mean, you got the hundred rupees on the on the random spot, so that's nice. The wool hand already paying off. Wait, did? Oh, that's okay. Uh, wait, we're in the dark here over on top life side. Okay, I don't know what dark room he found, but it wasn't the one to the mountain, so because he left. Because <laughs> this really, that's the only one you really want to find. Oh gosh, three hearts. Yeah. <laughs> Three hearts laser bridge, no mail upgrades, no nothing. Yeah, I like to at least usually have an extra bomb or two because I'll bomb the, the red beetle mm. off here. And yeah, the, like the problem is is that it feels like top life has to rush it. Yeah, so like, so the first no opportunity to take it slow. 
Yeah, the first chest in here is... I mean, this is completely not in logic. But the first chest is free and the last chest is free because you can fall down and get iframes and have the iframes last long enough to get the chest. And, like, that's what I would do here and just leave the other two until either I have enough health to tank the damage or or the actual... or it, an actual logical item to pick it up. Yeah. That was the old man rescue, Tracy. I just heard uh, phases scream. Oh, yeah. That was a jump down off a ledge. I mean, yeah, because he didn't take damage, so clearly. Huh. That's weird. Using you can hear him using the uh the quick swap sounds to uh use the stereo to actually hear um where he is. I can't do that. I don't have stereo on the TV I play off of, so <laughs> And there's our de our our, our uh, Death Mountain access. Just a map off the old man. Yeah, uh, not a whole lot big, in Laser Bridge either. Yeah, the big question is where does that old man lead us? Yeah, I, it's always nice to get the save quit spots early. Given uh, how bad our uh, CAC mm -hmm. access is right now, mm -hmm. it definitely holds a lot more value. Like I, I like the pyramid start for. Uh, for back of us for uh for sanctuary but it's kind of a pain early because you can't do much from there so the sooner you can get the the alternate start points the, the better off you are <laughs> and another dark room oh and he's, go he's going back okay uh no it's just a different dark room okay Looks like he lost a heart, so it's probably one of the ones where you fall down a hole. Yeah. Which would be one of the uh, d d Death Mountain uh, Descent Cave entrances. No, we're not doing Castle Tower on three bombs. Yeah, <laughs> unfortunately, there's not much of a way to kill those uh, ball and chain no. guards with just a few bombs. And there's Bumper Cave. I'm going to call it Super Egg Cave today because we have two Yoshis. <laughs> two items, and we'll see what it, where this spits us out. With this, with this connector, you hope it doesn't spit you out anywhere you ever need to go again. Yeah, surprisingly, we didn't see FaZe check all of the Death Mountain entrances this was kind of a uh, found it and just run with yeah. it yeah i would have put it off but you know i mean it's all out of logic anyway so i don't think it's that big a deal a book is a thing i mean if you're gonna get a book get it early so there you go we have it yeah nice routing in for the uh the desert palace area okay the wells behind the hammer today or the um Mitts and mirror, or just the mirror. Yeah, yeah that's true. That, that are, or yeah, the, yeah, the the. Oh, jeez! That did he look at where Super Bunny even took us? Not even like we already had access to the back with the Moon Pearl. And we had a really nice uh, find from Top Life there. Not gonna actually be able to do anything with it, but found the old man uh, start point is at the Smith. Oh, that's really good. So massive convenience there for Phase. And he gets his flippers, so he wouldn't have been able to hold a hand if he waited. <laughs> okay, since Faze got spit out at the uh, Dark World, um, he's just going to check these entrances while he's there and save and quit. So really nothing we can, we can egg walk to. But Faze is going to be real happy here, walking out and saying, Hey, I'm in Kakariko. Yay. Okay, we're not going to drop down and get those rupees. I would have gotten them because I would with Scannon already, uh, already found. I would just dropped in. It's a little bit faster to to scout it than it is to to get it. But like, if it's if it is something you want, you're losing time by scouting, and I'd rather do that. I'd rather not do that. Yeah, especially like if we had seen the thief drop down there. I feel like when you're talking the uh, just the lumberjack, it's not the worst drop down mm -hmm. to scout. Yep. But when you know it's not a bad drop down, I think the worst, it, like 
as we said, the worst it could have been is that useless fairy and oh, Hyrule Castle. Early small key. Hyrule Castle small key is always interesting. Yeah, um, hopefully we can find some Hyrule Castle uh, pieces because <laughs> we haven't found uh, it yet. <laughs> that's the thing. You usually are like, oh yeah, I'm gonna find Hyrule Castle. I'm gonna find a desert, and we haven't found either yet. Well, and also the Cairo Castle small key is particularly nice in this seed because we already know that it's that it would otherwise be locked behind Agatu, and now we don't have to worry about any safe scums, any you know, we just okay, we just do both. We don't have to worry about it. We don't have to climb exactly GT just to get those back three. Okay, Uncle dropped down in a wasted spot because uh, I like this to be at the lumberjack. Yeah, that is always the, the best feeling. Okay, and Samari is nice. We have a weapon, folks. Alert, we have a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> we do, we have very little ammo to use it. Fortunately, there are two magic pots right there, so that's a few cane blocks if you need them. And that is a very nice tier one tree pole. It sure is. We got a map here. Go to rock map. It phases turn to do laser skips. Definitely the way I do mine. This is very much my way of doing laser bridge. I like it. And we find Thieves Town. Well, four items here we can get immediately. <laughs> Shield. That's one third of the way to uh, logical laser bridge. Sure where is. we got absolutely nothing. Oh, hey, we can sequence break with that cane to get the crystal roller room now, too. Oh, yeah. I mean, and it is, it is low-key the easiest dark room in the game because when you're going south to north, just hold up. Yep. Yeah. Uh, also, uh, as you and I are well aware, cross keys and backwards jaunts Ooh. through TR are just like it's kind of normal <laughs> okay did you see those on the race game i did see those boots <laughs> well okay we might yeah this that's the situation where if you if you have any kind of dark world access and a mirror you, you just go get them <laughs> yeah and i don't think top life scouted those like i personally don't like to scout that item uh, unless i already have like if i'm in a situation where it's like oh it's really bad to get to but I should know. I should go check and see what that item is, just in case, because my opponent—I know my opponent scouted it. So. Yeah. <laughs> so boots would be very bad for me. <laughs> but yeah, that backwards run through TR—it's—it's um, it's very common that there's something there. Yes. Yeah, TR is a very weird dungeon in Cross Keys logic because, uh, you know, the Trinex is locked behind four keys. Lava Chest is locked behind four keys. Everything else is locked mostly by one, unless the entrance to a particular location is really is a is a is one you can't get to. So one of those required um, connectors. Yeah. So all of a sudden, the top of GT might be locked by four small keys because it's at Floating Island. You know. Yeah, the good old um, four key locked front entrance of TR <laughs> is hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if you've ever watched Fred play uh, one of these seeds where he he goes and stays in logic on purpose. It, it's it can get very amusing. <laughs> Eastern Palace Green Pendant. Hooray, vanilla. Well, we know it won't be completely vanilla because we know where the boots are. <laughs> True. But yeah, uh, we didn't on, like, talk about what this mode is because it's kind of assumed everybody knows. Yeah, but uh, we should. But cross there's keys. always someone. Yeah. Uh, cross keys is a cross world entrance randomizer with full key sanity. So all of our keys, big keys, maps, and compasses are shuffled into the pool. And what we mean by a cross world entrance shuffle is that um, if you are in light world and you go find a connector and you go out the other side, you could end up in dark world, like we just saw Phase do there with that old lady connector in That's Kakariko. Once once we have, yeah, with mountain access, that's not a bad connector for the Dark World. No. Just just go get your mirror and then just go get your boots. Easy peasy. <laughs> so I will say on paper, this is probably our most complicated mode of the season. Um, 
I mean, it's, last week's it's... mode, I think it was was a bit more complicated just because it was new and nobody knows how to play it properly. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, overall, this is the more complicated mode because yeah, you got the keys and you got the the entrances and all that sort of stuff. Uh, generally, for the Invitational League this season, I would expect anywhere from a high one uh, to probably about two and a half. Uh, yeah, but don't then, expect too many two and a halves. That's usually yeah. the sign of a rough seed. Usually, I mean, on the very, very rare occasion, you can go quite a bit beyond two and a half if the seed's bad enough and slow enough. But yeah, our top players will usually uh, not have those issues. And, and you know, cross keys is, is a is a mode that um, make sure you track all your things. I can't tell you how many times I have forgotten to mark, say, uh, Saha. And be like, okay, well, I'm last location in that green pendant turning because I don't remember where he is. And usually yeah. it doesn't bite me, but every once in a while, you have to go back and pull up that VOD and find out where that, that one location that you forgot to track was. Now, we got an early Zora play with those flippers, um, and we have an ice rod on the Zora ledge. We, we might need that. We might. We might we not. We have an after TR. <laughs> So we could check it out. Yeah, it's the other thing with the you don't see a lot of menu. This is this is one of the things that I I, I personally uh, don't like that when the the maps are shuffled, I don't think the the the, the P's and the C should be on the screen because the point of putting the P and the C there is because normally the music tells you wh whether it's a, a pendant or a crystal. Uh, the, the music is randomized when we randomize the maps. So, you know, it used to be you walk into a dungeon and maybe you have, even if you have a map, you maybe don't know. And, and maybe you go all the way or maybe you don't. Or maybe you walk out and check the map. Uh, now, um, I don't know, I don't know about you, I don't do map checks until I start thinking about what my go mode is. Yeah, I mean, especially in this mode, it's just, you, you get into this oh, I found a dungeon, you really don't care if it's a, a pendant or a crystal because when you're thinking about it, it's like, I just need to beat stuff. Yeah, I, I need, need to items. find stuff. <laughs> yep. And dungeons are pure density. Like, oh, I found Mire and it's a pendant. Oh, I don't care. It's eight items. Yep, exactly. Oh, and Mire in particular has like, I mean, a, a triple dip into Mire is not uncommon. <laughs> Just because of the chest that'll open up. And it's not uncommon for your Moon Pearl to be in Mire. Just sitting there in the lobby with one, with, you know, no small keys to pick it up because you have to get the pot key. Oh, hey, it's Paradox Cave. I think this was in the eastern area. Yeah, we, this is really our first major uh, item cave. At least one that we can get things in. We still have, we do have the well sitting in Kakariko, but we need a hammer for that. I am surprised by the play over here to Ice Rod Cave area. We're a little... Oh, wow. Oh, nice, nice bomb. Nice bomb. And he's going to be able to get a nice magic refill off of this, too. Yeah. Small key um, swamp is significant. Yeah, without that glove, I'm kind of surprised we're over here already. Yeah. There's our first sword as well. Oh, I try to put this area and the, the west check off as long as I can if I if I don't have a glove. I just hate but there is our here. first of the uh, Hyrule Castle entrances. And face is oh, dancing. Oh, crabs are after him. <laughs> you know, I think I just take this refill. Yeah. Because otherwise you're just going to take a death in, in the castle to get less hard, so. Well, there's a useless connector right now. We can't do anything with the, with the dark potion shop. But turn into an egg. <laughs> yeah. Now, the, uh, all of these Hyrule Castle checks are in logic today. Um, we do have the small key, so nice start. Well, we'll see if he does uh, the dark checks. Um, without a sword, maybe not. Without any kind of weapon. Uh, those won't be in logic until we get the lamp. Now, I wouldn't do it with this item set, but I would do it with other item sets that don't include the lamp, so... Yeah. It would not now, surprise Tracy, me if we see... see one uh, thing you did uh, mention this. that might be a little bit new to a lot of people. So they might go, what do you mean it's not in logic without the lamp? What about advanced logic? Doesn't that exist? Not in cross keys, it doesn't. Exactly. 
Cross Keys is on a slightly older branch of the randomizer currently and does not take into account advanced logic. So when we were talking about laser bridge not being in logic because of the items we had, yep. uh, that's one of them. Oh, and there's that glove. Very that's nice. That's why the small key was available. Yeah. Um, so laser bridge does expect you to have mirror shield, burna, or cape. Uh, and all dark rooms do expect a lamp. Doesn't matter if there is a torch that you could light with a fire rod that is still not in logic. It's funny because in regular modes, I feel like them adding the advanced logic did very little. Because most people were just going to do that stuff anyway. With, you know, even without a fire rod. And yeah, it just, you know, every once in a while you get a lamp on, on our most nights and you go, ha, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Small key to skull wood. It's nice to find one of those, just in case the uh, connector is bad and um, you have to burn one to get out of the the drop the random drop down we took that turned out to be the uh, pinball room. Yeah, really waiting to see if we have a kind skull woods or an evil skull woods. Will the connector, the middle connector be nice or will it just absolutely be awful? There is Roop or our arrow game. <clears throat> Probably going to mark that off, but at this point, like, we're decent on money. Yeah, I mean, FaZe can, can pay for Zora. Top Life's already paid for Zora. It's fine. Uh, FaZe is just going to go straight to the back. Is not the one with the sword. Yeah. Potion we'll see if shop. we try to pick up that heart here. That's not the worst spot for the potion shop. It's not great, though, especially without the flute. Nice job through the snake hallway there. Yeah, just I, I worry about getting the key rat. I don't know. I'm worried about this these snake rooms the most. Yeah, if that's true. If we can get true. through them, I think we're okay. Oh, hey, we already did. <laughs> really smooth from FaZe. Yeah, absolutely. As if he's done this before. Of course, we are nearing, you know, both teams down to just four games for the rest of the season. Every game does matter. Um, mm -hmm. And this, like... You look at these records and, you know, 15 points for Cross Keys, 12 points for Motobashin. Um, both teams kind of in a could go either direction kind of situation. Yeah. Uh, playoffs is not out for either of these teams. Um, the Meyer division is very oh, tight no. right now. He, he set up the death warp and didn't open the chest in time. Oh, no. Oh, that's so bad. Yeah, that's... The first two chests were, were not good. All right, Top Life has made his way up to uh, the mountain. With the sword, the uh, the dark rooms to get there are, are basically free. And it's really easy to actually recognize them. You can you can just hold that sword and be able to yep. see a little bit quickly. But yeah, uh, Cross Keys currently tied for fourth place with 15 points. Motobosh and just a game back but in a tie for 6th slash 7th, so... E. Yeah, this is... For both teams, this ma this game matters. Oh, hey, we found the top of the castle. Too bad we can't go into the middle middle door. I mean, that was vanilla. That's great. You know, when I see connectors to places like some of these mirror places, I, I get worried. The mirror is going to be... It tells me the mirror is going to be late. And I'll have, like, three mirror spots left when I get it, and they'll all be bad. <laughs> I mean, I'll top life in, in Turtle Rock. Not great weapons for the pokey here, and only one small key, so you really can't afford to, to not get the key here. I would have hit that switch and not let the anti-fairies in. Yeah, I'd be fair. Oh, he's gonna... Okay, he's just gonna burn the key. I mean, you can just say, like, hey, I'm gonna get another key. I mean, you should get another key. Yeah. 
Very yeah, rarely all, all does this game for, uh, deny. Yeah, we did get an Eastern Palace compass. That's not something we really want or care about. It's you know, as, as someone that likes compasses, that's one of the least useful ones. Um, if the, I don't know when Topless last save was, but if it wasn't recent, if it, if it was recent, uh, I could see a reset here if this is nothing. Get that small key back. Yeah, that's okay. He's just gonna death warp. But yeah, with with fifty rupees and Eastern Palace compass, I would be perfectly comfortable resetting those two items. Have we seen the uh, back entrance? Because we're gonna see it on on Faze's side. I mean, after he gets out of the dark. <laughs> Okay, I mean, if you're... Yeah, it's not terrible. No. Alright, we have a book. We can use it. Well, yeah, Faze let's has a book. So use it. <laughs> Let us find out what is here at the desert entrance. And then probably save and quit, because unless this is a connector, you're not doing anything else. Nope. We have no way out. We're going to get the oh. slow ball and chain guard kill from top light. But he does have a reasonable weapon to do this with. Yeah, except they are immune to that ice rod. I completely forgot about that one. Yeah, it, yeah, I actually didn't realize that either. The Because, um, I mean, the reason why standard starts don't ever give you an ice rod is because of the green guard. You can't kill a green guard with the ice rod. Uh, you can't kill these guys either, apparently, and, uh, but you got pots in that room, so he, so the ice rod would be usable if the green guards would just let themselves be killed by it, you know? <laughs> A new connector from FaZe. That doesn't do any good. I think I heard the guys last night talking about that connector as the one that you always think you'll never need and forget to mark it and then suddenly you have a mirror. <laughs> and it's the only way to get there. We saw this big key before. I forget what it was. Eastern, right? The Eastern big key. Well, the bow's got to show up soon because, like, Eastern's got to be doable when it's a pendant, right? Yeah. <laughs> Man, we're finding stuff, and it's just where is the actual next answer? Because. Mm -hmm. We've got bits and pieces. Okay, ice rod cave. This this is an item, but I feel like pearl or mirror has got to show up. Yep, there it is. There's that. There pearl, it is. There we go. I mean, now we can now we can walk in the dark world and actually yeah. do things. So there you go. We got we got things to do, and you hope you find the mirror soon. If you're oh, who scouted the the boots? Only one of them did. Uh, face. Okay. But yeah, I mean, at this point, we were just finding so many Dark World spots without Dark World, like, access, so mm -hmm. it just felt like Pearl had to show up soon. Yeah, and we've seen, there's only one entrance left that we can get to from uh, the Pyramid, and that's, that's the, um, that's Pod itself. So, we could go there, but that's slow and annoying, and there's probably more density, you go to, go to the, uh, the connector that gets you to the the uh, north of Dark World. Gets you all the west checks, gets you Skull Woods if you want it. I like the simultaneous cave check uh, at what would normally be Mimic Cave. Both are jumping into the water. Both have very different priorities about this check, though. <laughs> 
we had already seen uh, this hookshot cave connector mm -hmm. from Top Life, and we had already seen the Ice Rod Cave area from Phase. I mean, I think they've both seen this, the Ice Rod. Oh, maybe not. Cause he didn't yeah, no. Win. Top Life hasn't oh. been here to get his uh, glove. That's a good connector. A v yeah, a very good one. Gonna take care of that murder dactyl and give us the bottom of Bumper. Yeah, I, I'm not... I would have left the screen and done... <laughs> Oh That's no! Not what you want to find? No. I, I, I will typically leave the screen, and then you can set up a very uh, a standard way of throwing that sign and killing the one murder dactyl that comes at you. Uh, so what I usually do is just leave the screen, and go check because there's an entrance up there anyway that you need to check. Do that, and then and then come back and do that. And then I would be very sad to find Spiral Cave because nobody wants to fight this cave. Nope, worst cave in the game. Or at least worst cave in the mode. Yes. Let's be real. Spiral cave in non-entrance is okay. <laughs> I might argue that it's really bad in, in inverted, but, you know. Oh, I mean, Death Mountain in inverted is, it's it's, is a whole other topic. Okay, glow for top life. Sword for phase. And I will argue whether or not that Spiral Cave is actually valuable. That's more of an annoyance with the combination of uh, connectors. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is a connector combo that I don't want to see. Like, you had to get into Dark World off a of bumper yep. ledge. Yep. And then go um, through Spiral to get to the floating island. That's oh, not hey, fun. We, we can check one item in Turtle Rock, or one more item in Turtle Rock. I mean, I guess FaZe could continue on and do Chain Chomps. Uh, Top Life has already done that. We know it's nothing. But yeah, just gonna save and quit. Pretty certain he's seen the other TR entry. Well, he's definitely seen Laser Bridge, which will make it let him not use that key. Because for whatever reason, if you go backwards through a spiral staircase into the door, it doesn't burn a key. Which is very useful in Cross, which is why we have all the weird key logic that we talked about earlier in Turtle Rock. I think FaZe is going to go right back to that Dark World. Oh, maybe we'll do some flips checks first. But yeah, I think we're going to see him back in that Dark World pretty soon. He really, really wants to find that mirror. For those of you that missed it, the uh, the boots are sitting on the race game. So unless there's a connector to Brother's right, sorry, Brother's left, uh, we're going to need that mirror to get those boots. Top left gonna have a little bit easier time going through uh, the back of the castle to the back of the castle because he's got a sword. Well, let's say Faze did a really good job of it. <laughs> we'll see what that last chest was and whether that's gonna come back to to haunt Faze. Yeah, there's so much that that could be, and I feel like we've just found so much, I don't want to say junk, but really it is the junk fill that we've just been continuing to find. Yeah. The keys and the items we're not finding a ton of, and, you know, we can just assume that that glove might have been the real purpose, but there's got to be something else here. And to be fair, I, I get why FaZe was setting up the, the Death Warp the way he was. The Rast do, even on Green Mail, they do, like, no damage. Okay, I mean... Okay, that puts the Laser Bridge stuff in logic. That was, There was nothing there. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm surprised FaZe doesn't grab that heart container. We're still on Green Mail and Seven Hearts, but sure. It'll be fine in the long run. Um, and, of course, Spike Cave. 
Uh, so the only real danger for FaZe is if he avoids Spike Cave because it's in, you know it'll be an in logic play that maybe he doesn't do for a while if it shows up, and we have um, we still need a hammer to do it anyway. And we still can't open the barrier here. Okay, FaZe can do these Eastern checks. I really thought we'd see more of the, uh... More from that Dark World connector. Yeah. And... Unfortunately, I think without the, uh... Without the Pearl on top life side, not gonna do much exploring right now. Yeah, and you can't... You, you can't Bunny revive Turtle Rock from that entrance because the pot... Not that there was anything good there. I mean, you might get him back there sooner with the fire rod and might find something good that way. But all, all I can figure is that FaZe is really trying to do as much as he can to find that mirror before going to do those, those south dark world checks. Okay, top left bot gets his moon pearl. Okay, we're gonna click top life. He's gonna check the desert. We know this is nothing. And he'll have to save and quit. Okay, FaZe wanted to see the G uh, sorry, the Saha entrance before going in and exploring the uh, Paradox Cave that we've already seen. Yeah, kind of just retracing steps right now. Without a great Dark World access, I can see trying to clear out Light World a little bit more. You know, clear out that initial sphere and hope to find other stuff to kind of make the rest of the traversal good. But this will be Master Sword for Phase. That makes things nicer. Now, Faye's not having to use bombs to kill the, the mini Moldorms has a much harder time than Top Life, who just casually laid a bomb in a spot that got all the all the Moldorms. <laughs> oh, was there a fairy in that in in the drops? Because I feel like that uh, was set up correctly. You, you also... Yeah, there was. Yeah, yeah, because it was similar... a special pack for the mini Moldorms. Yeah, so similar to Heropod, if you grab a fairy there, you, your bomb jump is going to go off. And we have Dark World uh, exploration over on top life side. Yay. Okay, let's see some Dark World. Well, FaZe can do stuff from, from this Dark World. Can, hopefully, hopefully he can get to Catfish. I say hopefully because he's on one and a half hearts. And everything here does two hearts of damage, if I'm not mistaken. <laughs> Just needs to take it carefully. Especially here. Ooh, jumping into that pit is scary. It really is, and there's no other choice. I mean, I guess there is. You could kill the, the little rock thingy, but... Hey, Vanilla nice. Medallion. <laughs> nice Vanilla Quake. Still don't know what our Meyer Medallion is. We do know that the uh, TR Medallion is the Ether, so not a great 
you know, we might not need that, but you like having that check knocked out. I mean, it's really good for pen gators if you don't have other things for Ice Palace, so, yeah. Top left turn to go through Spiral Cave. Almost simultaneous falls there. <laughs> Love it when, when runners buy the heart. Oh. Alright, that's 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 the sword that, that FaZe already has. Both are, are runners now on Master Sword. And now Top Life can do one check in Turtle Rock. I want to say it was arrows. Whatever it was, it wasn't useful. It was arrows. All right, I think Phase is finally heading back to the dark world. We'll maybe get into Village Outcast. Oh, Top Life remembering that there's this that we haven't checked. Now that we have a Master Sword, we can. Hey, there <laughs> is our first check with the Spec Rock Cave. So nice and, little drop down. But yeah. it's another connector. Well, I mean, at this point, you take the connector. It's fine. Yeah. It's just the uh, fact that we small. keep finding connectors from connectors from connectors. Yeah, <laughs> yep. So true. Okay, another a Turtle Rock small key. We're going to do the bomb jump here. That kind of looked good, but I'm not an expert on this bomb jump. Looks like we were pushed out a little bit when mm. moving down the first time. So probably was all outside of where we wanted to be. There's just, it's a DDM um, on the, the west side, mm -hmm. uh, which we already had a illogical access to. So not yep. really massive, but, you know, we'll probably still do the drop down afterwards. All right, please or, give me some of Turtle Rock here. I'm surprised we're not getting the drop down. To be honest, yeah, I would I would have checked the you know if you're gonna save and quit anyway, check the drop down and save and quit from whatever that is. Yeah, uh, that's kind of a uh, out of the way now. Very out of the way. Also interesting that that Phase did that bomb jump uh, out of TR East instead of um, instead of just using the cane. If you were going to check the TR West entrance, that would make sense. Because it's much faster to do it that way. And yeah, this this pokey fight for... You know, we saw Top Life skip it. We're seeing FaZe go after it. Uh, I... I once again, just, you know, I wish both of our runners had kind of, like, closed in the pokey and kept out the anti-fairies. Mm -hmm. That made that mm -hmm. fight a lot harder. Not grabbing the magic refill. But that's the only reason I can think of for doing the bomb jump over using the cane is to save magic, but then you don't pick up the magic refill, so I... I'm confused. <laughs> oh, careful. Don't orphan another another item. Okay, I mean, it's just 50 rupees, but... This is where our skull with small key is nice to have. We can replace it with the pinball key because we are able to get into this entrance. And we get a mushroom. Ew. <laughs> I mean, at least we know where Potion Shop is. But we do. Yeah, I'd rather know where the potion shop is in this situation, because um, 
if I'm have any any plans of doing magic bat. Where uh, was the bat again? I just thought about it, that. I was like, wait actually, a minute. Uh, good question. I don't know where the magic bat was. Uh, like we had to have seen it, or we have to know where it is. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah, a saying? We just didn't see them scout it because they knew it was. Yeah, that could be. Okay, there's Swamp Pals. We can't do anything there without the water being drained. I hate it when dungeons are in this spot. <laughs> it's so out of the way. Uh, also of note, Top Life did not pick up the pinball key. I like to pick up the pinball key so that when I do Skull Woods in the back, I can skip the, uh, the Gibdo key. But, you know, not a big difference. Oh, okay, no, he was trying to get grabbed or open the chest, so that's fine. And we're finally- are we finally gonna get into village? Our runners are finally getting into village at almost well. Okay, FaZe is not going to village. He's going to click Skull Woods. He leaves the uh, Agena Cave as Top Life goes into the Agena Cave. Yeah, just slightly different Dark World routes here. Nobody's really. It's not a bad thing on either side. I will say this is a nice Skull Woods. Um, it is. It's a very nice. Vanilla skull. or semi vanilla Skull is good. As long as this entrance is available yes. without having to go through a drop down. I'm exactly. <laughs> I'll even take that this is the back as long as the back drop down is the middle. Yes, which doesn't I'm happen. I'm willing very to often. accept that. Yeah. Like it, it's a rarity, but I'll take that as a backup. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Phase is going to go ahead and grab. This will always be a small key. I hope they never change that. Because when you have to play guess the drop down, you want to know you can get out of this spot. <laughs> that is a thing that used to be in, in all modes before version 31 as well, but they, they changed it everywhere else. But if, if any cross keys people, you know, developers are listening, please don't take away my guaranteed pinball key. <laughs> <laughs> please. <laughs> we, know if I, we find pod with one small key on top life side. Three or to five checks coming our way. I mean, ooh, nice hook shot. New hook that shot is a now. good in logic check. Now, if we really want to do the slow, painful, and uh, out of logic thing, you could mimic clip and go through the a couple times and go down the right side a couple times to get into the back, but nobody's going to do that. <laughs> well, we also lack a hammer to do that. Oh, that's true. We can't do that without the hammer. You're right. We could still mimic clip. We only get the two items yeah. out of it. I think the two items is worth it. Oh, okay. Now, now we could can't can do it, but we've already opened the door, so we can't do it. <laughs> but loaded pod. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> speaking of loaded palace of darkness. <laughs> Hammer and bow. We're gonna find the big key too, and maybe some small keys. Now we we can't in this in this particular version of these settings. It is a hundred percent location, so you won't be finding pod smalls uh, at either the harmless hellway or the big key chest. Those are six key locked, and you cannot have a pod cannot have a pod small in those locations. Now similarly, the the, the skull woods, sorry, yeah, the skull woods big key won't be in the big chest. The swamp big key won't be in the big chest. Yeah, there was some talk of trying to get the 100% locations active also for AAD Keys Week this season. That unfortunately did not happen. Uh, there is a small key to pot <laughs> in pot. We just continue and we, and to we find stuff. On. And we move on. If I had the big key, I might even just do the boss here. But we don't, so we do the back. And that's a lot of checks, so you do it. I will say, with this being Dark World access now in pod, and pod just being in Village of Outcasts, I'm more of the opinion I probably would just go do the back. And knowing mm -hmm. that I can easily get back here, you know, sure. combine our mountain start point in, in CAC 
with Pod just being right in Dark World and we have Dark World, I'm not opposed to just getting checks. And and to your point, it, we don't know whether it's a pendant or a crystal. So if it, going to the back and getting just one check and it turns out to be a pendant kind of feels bad. Yeah. But, you know, that's uh, five in the back right now. Mm-hmm. now like interesting- I, that's double your checks. Yeah, now, now Top Life is just not even doing the back, which to me is a, well, it's not in logic anyway. I can get back here easily. And if I get another small key or two, I can do more of it. Or if I get the big key, I can do more of it. So I think it's okay to leave it behind for now. It's four keys to get to get anything in logic in the back t- to begin with. So Of note, we still haven't found that mirror to get our boots. And we still lack just any fire. <laughs> Yeah, another reason not to do pod. Um, although the back, I think, is pretty easy. Uh, you know, you yeah. can just pull up a map for the dark maze if you need it. Uh, I was gonna say at this point, you know, you get <laughs> you get used to a backwards dark maze in uh, mm-hmm. in cross keys. I, I had gotten so used to a backwards uh, dark maze in cross keys that when I, for whatever reason, I had a situation where I was doing a frontwards. I'm like, wait a minute, how do I do this? Now? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I always just hammer yump and d- could go backwards through yeah. the dark. Like this how is often not right. It, it, it feels weird to have six pod small keys when you enter pod. And that's the only way you don't hammer yump. <laughs> nice uh, health refill, <laughs> refill there. Base also taking the death warp, but going to use the uh, the red jellies. All right, so neither of our runners is going to do the back yet. Chicken hut? Are the chickens hiding anything? Just 20 bucks. So, by the time we finish this loop, is the answer Hookshot Cave now? I mean, or... none of the pod stuff is in Logic. Um, we still well, have all the, the pod stuff we got is in Logic. Yes, so. none of the new pod, none of the stuff we haven't done is in Logic. So, in terms of what we could do next, um, it feels like Hookshot Cave, yeah. Like the Death Mountain play, I. Th- think is still out of logic i don't think we actually have logical progression there mm-hmm. um without a lamp or a flute so it's looking more and more like it's going to be hookshot cave has something all right so our red crystals are ice and turtle rock so we will need a fire rod for sure and luckily both of our runners did get that ice rod and this is in logic for top life but gonna hold off on spike cave not great health and magic situation i understand it yeah, I mean, he's going to be able to do it, but I think you check this first and then go back because you're going to you're not getting out of Spike Cave with this health. You'll, you'll just barely make it in and then get out. Um, I was going to say we could have gotten that full health yeah? refill. I, I might have, if I'm planning on doing Spike Cave Nest, I might have taken the full health. He, okay, he's just not doing it. But yeah, t- you can talk to the uh, the the uh, um, the guy there and you can get your full health refill. It's, it, co- it costs money, which we don't care about. It costs time. That's more significant. Yeah. Those stairs and walking around the table and everything. It's its not fun. <laughs> but we are getting the do- dark shopping mall now. Uh, we do have flippers. We've got a glove. Everything's available here. So we came out of here actually on yes. the right entrance, but couldn't check anything else. There's another fairy. We could have taken a refill there, but if you're if you're just gonna save and quit out of this, you probably don't. And now we found desert. Is this our first desert? It's our first desert, isn't I it? I think so. <laughs> we yeah, we have not seen Desert Palace yet. Uh, so great connector scheme. Uh, t- only one mm-hmm. item available right now, and I Top Life's just going out the front like, door. I don't like this without doing the check first because i mean it, it, it's fine i we probably am I'm, I'm a right i'm a right to left and then left to center 
yes. kind of route here. Um, I, I, I find this to be a little bit more gambly without well, yeah, checking the, the item first. If this had been Bonk Rocks, if this, yeah, mostly Bonk Rocks, but the other good ones are like if it Pyramid Fairies one, it could yep. be Ganon's Tower. Those are all things you're not going back in. And now you have to go all, especially given the first location being at Dark Shopping Mall, which is a pain to get to in the first place. Now, we did see that it is double ether today. Um, and unfortunately, uh, FaZe is not going to head down to the shopping mall. So not going to find desert and thus not getting half magic. Because that was also a mire area. And there's oh, the mirror. There's the mirror. Okay. Oh, that's so big. Of course, I don't think Top Life saw the boots. So he doesn't know how big it is. Now, you know, if he's like me... Um, once I get access to that location, I'm checking it. Either checking it blindly or, or going and, and checking to see if I need to go get it. Uh, even knowing the boots are there, I do check these first. <laughs> Worst key in the game. Uh, tower hair, small key. <laughs> I mean, it's not made any better by the fact we have no fire. <laughs> That's right. Oh, hey, look, there's another desert entrance. <laughs> it's really funny. <laughs> Okay, so I mean, it works out for everybody with these yeah. desert checks today. And that was a vanilla, that was, not only that, it was a vanilla desert entrance. Also, this is Green Pendant Eastern. And I'm pretty and, certain both runners have talked to Saha and know that. Yeah, and this is a fully clearable Eastern. Uh, we've got a big yeah, key, we we've got a, a bow. Key. And Faye's gonna go ahead and do Cookshot Cave like we thought was the answer. A small key to Ganon's Tower. First one of those. We haven't seen Ganon's Tower yet, though. How have we not seen Ganon's Tower? How have Legit. we not? How have we not seen Desert until now? True. The key to Swamp Palace. Yay. There has been a distinct lack of certain dungeons. Uh, mm -hmm. That like GT is kind of the staple dungeon of this mode of mm -hmm. like. You're going to find some progression in, in GT. All right. So, so Hookshot Cave had exactly the Swamp Big Key. <laughs> Which, I mean, there could be something in there. And we're happy to have it before Swamp rather than getting it after Swamp. Because then it turns into another uh, hair small key. <laughs> yeah, but... Not what you're hoping for in Hookshot Cave, for sure. I'm hoping this is just like going out a different exit and not... Okay, it's not going to be for the back. A little concerned. Oh, just a different way over to the shopping mall. Okay. Yeah, that's actually pretty smart. So we'll find Desert. It's going to leave and check this other entrance first and then go back in. All oh, right, we're not completely in logic because we don't have a lamp. Oh, well. <laughs> Minor gripes. And we'll see. Uh, looks like FaZe is going to do probably the route we were talking about. Oh, wait, we already had the small key on FaZe's yeah, side. So okay. He gets two extra checks. Uh, ooh. Bikita Hera, okay. One of those, another one of those keys you want, you'd rather have before you go to the location than, af than after. And a compass to this dungeon. Yeah, I can't tell you how many times Harapot skipping big chests has burnt me in cross keys. <laughs> and I gotta admit, this mode, uh, the hundred percent locations, makes it feel worse. Mm. Um, yeah. I, there's just something about those locations now, like you know you were talking about the thieves big chest and some of these others that you go in and thieves big especially where you go in and don't have the key and it's just something yep definitely happens a lot more in this mode uh chat asking who is ahead uh given that nobody has finished a dungeon i have no idea <laughs> yeah <laughs> and uh, we're gonna... I wouldn't say anybody's gotten a huge advantage no I don't uh, think so. both runners are going to get their boots pretty shortly Faze has done some other checks that are nice uh, in the fact that, like, you know, 
phase has done the hookshot cave has done the cack well that top life still needs to go back for yep. but i can't imagine those aren't far off for top life either um we just haven't found like nothing screaming do this now i mean the one thing that kind of was was hookshot cave and all we got out of that was a swamp big case so. yeah <laughs> we'll be interesting to see if phase goes into eastern so far we really haven't gotten much out of this And FaZe, pro actually, in fact, I imagine FaZe doesn't rush into Eastern, it being a pendant, and h him knowing exactly where those boots are. So, unless this green pendant turn in gives us something, or there's something on ped, uh, Eastern not required. But still, still a bit to be determined, because we have to actually turn in the green pendant. one thing I will say is um, Top Life will need to go back for Checkerboard, I believe, as well. <laughs> mm. Yep. He's having that moment of, ah, uh, do I want to do this? Yeah, he's going to do it. I'm, I'm a little surprised. I mean, maybe he doesn't do the whole thing. I, I, I would wait on this simply because I know where the boots are. Uh... Still, I don't think top, top life. I don't think scouted the boots, and so it makes a little more sense for him to look in there. If it wasn't for the fact that this is a lot of connectors to take, it is a lot of connectors to take. I, I get it. Um, I think that's. I think if it's a crystal, I would just do it anyway. But if it being a pendant, I'd probably say, you know what, I could come back here with mitts and a flute, maybe. <laughs> Either that or last location, whatever's here, which is always a thing that can that can happen. We got our first ice palace, or yeah, our first ice palace small key there out of checkerboard. Yeah, ice palace small key is only really significant if you go in with the uh, icebreaker without glove or hammer, because uh, you can't get that pot key, and so you can get stuck in the in the uh, spike room. Yeah, it's 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 having that one is great in the icebreaker without full options. Yep. Um, it's after that, it's like I want either zero or two. Mm, yeah. Because that second one really does make routing with the big key pretty nice. So, very much an all or nothing kind of game. We're going to get that small key here. See if that's of any significance. And unfortunately, we're seeing the the ramifications of top life scout or not scouting in this case. Um, okay. Nice small key, thief small, though. That's going to be a full... Oh, no, we don't have the big key yet. That's going to be a full clearable thieves once we have a big key and we find it. <laughs> but yeah, not having those boot, that boots knowledge is just going to keep top life away. And for FaZe, that's going to be his first check. Yeah, I, I find it really interesting, too, because, you know, this is a play that I, I, I don't like to scout. I think it's, I think you, you get spit out there sometimes, you just go grab it. When you have the mirror, it's, you know, you, you can save the time of not, not scouting in the first place. But I get very nervous about that location once it becomes available if I haven't seen it. So I, I try to get there as quickly as possible. And sometimes, you know, I'm rushing to a five rupees. <laughs> Other times, it's the boots, you know, so... Um, we're going to get this entrance check. This will be a new check. And it's just a shop. We don't care about it. So in terms of entrances we haven't seen that we really care about, it's a lot of dungeons. Um... Yeah. I don't Hera. think we've seen the back of desert. Yeah, back of desert, thieves, Hera. Oh no, we saw thieves. Oh, we saw. Oh, right, you're right. We saw thieves. Have I don't think ice? we saw ice. We've seen. Oh, we haven't seen swamp. We saw swamp. We haven't found okay, a dam. We, 
Right. And no GT. Yeah, and, and yeah. Uh, GT, of course, we don't really want to do, but when it shows up, you just do it because it's a bazillion checks. Uh, we have the ability to do the left side in full. Although with one small key, a lot of that's not in logic. Um, we can do tile room <laughs> going to the right. <laughs> we can't even sequence break the other four with the left. Yeah, we can't even try. <laughs> Ooh, I like oh, this. A, yeah, uh, this is an item. I mean, if you didn't have full bombs, you'd probably grab that, but you got 10 bombs, so, like, whatever. Yeah. You know, those bombs will sit there forever now. Unfortunately, this just goes back. It's, you know, there's no reason to go to where the real answer is here. Like, FaZe is gonna get to start doing, a, like, if we can, if we want to say that FaZe is behind in any sense mm -hmm. like instantly that deficit is made up yep there's that ice small okay yeah phase finally finished with all the Meyer area stuff uh this is gonna be go to the portal go to the go grab your boots and run places yeah this will be 45 or i don't know we could skip k45 even for a moment and there's another pod small off of a uh, top spec rock. Yeah, I would totally skip K45. Get my boots, then I can hit K45 on the way back to the two bonk rock locations near Link's house. Yep. No, I really like it. Oh, flute's hey. nice. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. like, that's mobility at, in a different sense. Wait. And Oh, he's going to get the small key first? I, I would uh, get the boots first. Yeah. <laughs> I'd, I'd get the boots first. I'd be getting this small key last. Yep. Like, what could this small key be that you're going to use it immediately? You've exactly. got Swamp Small, you've got Desert Hera. Like, yeah, Thieves Small is great, but I don't think you're going to rush for it. Like, it doesn't change your situation. FaZe, did you forget about your boots? Oh boy, this, this is getting interesting, because wow. That actually is worse if you forgot, right? Because if you, you know, maybe you marked it off on your tracker or something. Uh, Top Life will eventually get there. Like, he knows it's a mirror spot that he hasn't seen. Uh, yeah, this this is... I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> oh, Top Life gonna go ahead and get the well now. Yeah, and that's that equity time that FaZe already spent before yep. doing the Meyer area, or before finding the Meyer area. Yeah, it feels bad for Top Life getting that desert small key after doing all that stuff over there. It's going to go ahead and activate this flute. And the big question is, where to? I was going to say activate the flute, but we're going into... Oh, oh we're going to turn the green pendant. Okay. Ooh, just a compass. I mean, as compasses go, I like the Ganon's Tower compass, but like, I, I don't want to green, kill a green pendant boss for it. <laughs> no. I think realistically that means Eastern was worthless. And less ped. Yeah. And ped C's are not common in these. Although I say that having recently had a mitts on ped for entrances and a boots on ped for entrances. So game has its jokes. <laughs> so. And yeah, top life still not going to scout. Um, okay, we're going to get boots now for FaZe. He, he's way, way longer than I think most runners would. <laughs> oh, hey, TR Bridge. Okay, I mean, that is in logic. Uh, going through the pumper is actually semi-required. Yeah, that's one of the gotchas in Krosky's, honestly, knowing that yeah. you, can, you can use that hook shot to get, uh, get through there.
And let's see what this entrance is. Good knowledge oh. on the bush. And there's GT. Wow. Okay. Wow. That's that's definite advantage phase now. If, if we weren't uh, sure before, powder and <laughs> shuffle <laughs> fetch quest. Anyone? <laughs> Not sure how I feel about doing uh, tile room before doing the. Left I mean, side. I don't think there's much of a way to skip tile room in this mode. No, I, I mean, I'm not saying I wouldn't do it. I might, I might just, you know, it, maybe if, you know, maybe the fire rod shows up on the, on the, uh, on the left side. And then you, then you do this. The problem the is, is that, Tracy, we got one key. Oh, yeah, that's true. Well, don't open and the like, door here by accident, yeah. please. <laughs> and I muscle memory that door sometimes. I'm just like, mm. yeah, open. Careful. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't think we're in this we're in the situation where a lot of that stuff's not in logic, but I yeah, think but... I think we can get everything, but we just won't have any keys to go anywhere else later yeah. on. Um, yeah, GT is traditionally like a two key and you're fine dungeon. Yep. Uh, so you could skip fire bar room. I don't think I would here. No. Uh, that's, yeah, it's uh, like you do that with zero keys. Yeah. Uh, this. This is like, if I have two keys, I can get everything if I do left side first. Yep. And then do right side only to the, uh... Oh, there's our Thieves Big. Yay. Awesome. That's a dungeon we can... It's a crystal we can get. Wow. Imagine We're an hour that. ten and we got a crystal <laughs> available. That. We can get a crystal. Uh, but yeah, uh, as long as you don't go full right, two keys is plenty for this dungeon. Yep. Uh... If you don't, if you have to do full right side, then you're hoping for a third key to show up. Yep. I don't know how much I'm hoping. Well, it, it depends. Like, I don't want to do the climb, right? But I I want to be able better. to do it and not have to skip stuff. Yeah. Also, this is another one of those dungeon locations that I absolutely hate having to deal with. Oh, Top life about fish. to get, yeah, yeah that it quake is, medallion. Off. Quake. <laughs> yep. That we now know has no purpose. Uh, we did see uh, ether for both dungeons. Another big key this time for Turtle, Turtle Rock. That's a good one. Yeah. But we do need that one as well. We need that one. And it's a check because we have Turtle Rock East available. And I don't think we ever went back for uh, Crystal Roller. No. Oh, that's oh okay. You gotta stay okay. on blue mail now. That is a really pretty purple. I, yeah, that's a good purple <laughs> I, Yoshi. I approve of that Yoshi. <laughs> and it doesn't get the bonk quite right, and just and I don't know if you just decide to just do the portal or if you, sometimes you mess it up and you go up a little higher. And then I think that was a mistake. Yeah. I did see the bonk. Yeah, because what usually happens to me if I'm a little bit too low on the first bonk, I move up a little bit, and then you just go through the portal because you went up too high. Like, overcompensation, essentially. Nice to have the bow for this. Oh, hey, back of Skull Woods. Which we, we can't, can't do it. because we don't have fire swords. <laughs> it's a crystal, so if I had a lamp, I'd just do it. Is one of the easier. The only hard thing about the uh, the bomb jump there is not getting grabbed by the hand. Everything else about that is easy. And ice armos blocks absolutely nothing. Wow, just a nice little arrow anything? refill. I mean, we, we got, got a big couple key. of big we keys. We got big keys. We got the big yeah. keys to East Town. We got the big key to Turtle Rock. We got blue mail. And we got blue mail. We got to, we get purple Yoshi. Yeah. That, that's all the value we needed was purple Yoshi. That's right. <laughs> and we're going to get to check some fetch quests. Oh, yeah, we're right by the dig spot, so that works out well.
Okay, looks like Top Life is headed towards those boots. Phase your shovel. Phase your shovel. <laughs> no, go back. Uh, we're not entirely sure where Magic Bat is. We think it's at Sank. We think they just never had to scout it because they found every other and just didn't have a need to check it. Yeah, with the when you get the Sank start at the pyramid, uh, that, that's usually the one that you, that's your process of elimination location. But in this case, nope. We we knew right away. Silver's is nice. Uh, bunny sprites do not change based on armor upgrade, unfortunately. Yeah, purple leg would be fun. Oh no, did Top Life do this before <laughs> before yep. checking race game? Oh no. Oh. Luckily, GP's not one getting... of those dungeons that doesn't benefit a ton, and there's the dam. Most of the benefit in GT is in the top of it. Yeah, and That's there's no way we can climb, so... Now, the one thing is that the... I hate that bomb jump you have to do instead of... Uh, absolutely hate that bomb jump. Um, I just kind of do it by feel and hope I get it right. <laughs> But that's it. Uh, other than that, you know, you're not going to lose a ton of time without the boots here. But man, I would feel really bad if I checked the race game after this. <laughs> there, sitting there, are my shiny shoes. Oh, Tam saying you lose about two minutes in GT basement without boots. So that is news to me. I'm trying to think. Okay, um... is that the whole basement or just the like left side? Yeah, like I could see it on right side. Losing a bunch of time. Well, right here you would lose time. In the fire snake room. Oh, spike cave. And shout outs to FaZe for that execution to get through that without a bottle or invincibility. 14 hearts will do it. Yep. A megawatt saying three or four minutes. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm reading from uh, Skelly the uh, <laughs> spend that time weeping. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if we're being we're being teased here or what. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't think it's sixty nine minutes, Tyler. <laughs> like if I had to pick a time where it's really losing, it's this upcoming dash and like these bigger rooms. But a lot of the rooms in GT just aren't that sizable. Yeah, Mike says fifteen seconds, but that seems a little bit low to be honest. So I don't. I don't even know. And we get Blue Yoshi on top life side. That's a nice, fun color, yeah, too. Can I just say that was actually a really... Like, for not having boots... Yes. That was a good bomb uh, damage boost. That real... Oh, oh, I saw this the other day. Where the uh, you get the mini helmet just damage boost you over. And it was really, really cool. And uh, unfortunately, top life didn't quite get it. So we'll now have to do this this horrible, horrible bomb jump that I always mess up. But he won't mess it up because he's better than I am. <laughs> and no, no pet scout. I was thinking maybe we finally get it since we're going in this way to Dark World. But nope. Yeah. I mean, there's still opportunities to get it if we have, you know, if we'd ever check the fire rod entrance, if we get the Skullwood's big key. Because, you know, now we have Mirror. I thought we had done all these checks. On FaZe's side. I thought we had Oh. Done. Is this bat? Maybe. I wouldn't imagine you'd go this way to get to bat in this situation. Unless you had something else you want to do in Dark World really badly. And all this time you're losing to Mirror Bonking. Is not ideal. <laughs> yeah, shout outs to Tam for being the only person that last week opened the GT Big Chest and showed us that there is in fact a GT Big Key <laughs> in the GT Big Chest in Champions Hunt. <laughs> the people wanted to know and Tam obliged. And to be clear, it was after they had already finished one yes. race. So yes. <laughs> there, there was no shenanigans involved. <laughs> 
All right. Thieves Town. Now, I, I still don't understand why... I mean, it must be something that FaZe wants to do in the Dark World after this, that he did the Mirror Portal that way. Yeah, maybe thinking you're going to get a Fire Rod coming up. Like, oh, I mean, we if, haven't found Fire yet. Yeah, if, if you do, that, yeah, and you can check that back entrance and combine it with Pod. A Skull is big key would give you another check in this area. All right, Top Life is going to get those boots. Yay, everybody has boots. Unfortunately for Top Life, he didn't he wasn't that far behind getting the boots. It looks like it might be And a... just realized oh wait. Yeah, I, I could have gotten those earlier. <laughs> I, I was gonna say was that also I wish I didn't abandon my portal because I'm just oh, going right yeah, back yeah. in. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right, because the, the boots give you these extra checks here. Yeah, sometimes your mind doesn't work fast enough when you get the new item. <laughs> But yeah, with FaZe waiting as long as he did to go get the boots that he knew was there, um, it wasn't that much of a difference as, as we thought it might have turned into. And really, Top Life chasing that mirror check, kind of good in some regards because that did lead to the flute. Unfortunately, mm. it's not a massive gain because of the fact that we have access to all the areas of the map. Yeah but it's going to be routing efficiency later yes. at this rate. I mean, FaZe might get that flute late enough that you don't even bother activating it. Yeah. Unfortunately, FaZe moving out of the door there in Thieves Town, going to have to stop and do the stutter step. Uh, but I don't think we've really gotten anything here back at Thieves. Mm -hmm. And that turtle rock big key only gets us one check until we find fire rod, so. And we are seeing some very different routes to get into Dark World and do stuff here. I mean, when you have when your dark world axis is go up and around, sometimes it really is faster to just take the right connector, depending on what connector you have, etc. And we are going to be in Swamp Palace for top life. And the map of thieves off of blind. Thanks, game. Or was the map of thieves in Swamp? I, yeah. I don't. Nothing good came out of either of those checks. Yep. <laughs> um, I do believe top life does have the swamp big key. Uh, so he will be able to full clear this if he wants to. We had the fun situation, and I say fun in, in the fun ironic sort of way. Um, with uh, with Specky Clip being a thing, we had a runner in Swamp that w had nothing to kill Argus with. Which is not a thing that should be able to happen. Yes, that was a great race yesterday. <laughs> I will say, I actually saw the a different situation of... A runner, not in a specifically in a league race, but uh, playing some cross keys, who proceeded to kill Argus with bombs and fire rod. You can do that. Yeah, like the little, little puffs. Yeah. I okay. I learned something. <laughs> I, I think I will not do that. <laughs> Logically, you're required to have a hammer. I'm not gonna. I, I and personally, I hate the the hammer fight. Like, give me a fighter sword. I'll do that fight. It sucks too. But uh, part two was specifically the uh, the fire rod. But part one, uh, bombs okay. and fire rod both damage the puffs. Apparently. Wow. Yeah. Learned yeah. Something. And there's our pod big. Yay. We need more pod smalls. I think. Well, no, we, I mean, technically we don't beat the dungeon. We still only yeah, have Yeah, we did two, save that key. This is where I, I, I would take a peek at my map to try and see if I have a pod, if I have a pod map, see if I can find out whether I should be rushing the back of that or whether I should be going and getting the crystal. 
Oh, mitts. Whoa. Okay. I, I mean, mean with, with the stuff oh. we're missing. What entrances does that even give us? It gives us. Oh gosh. Okay, the fire rod is big. Yeah. This is not like a left we, side swamp you can skip. Uh, that gives us the pegs. Um, that gives us ice palace entrance. Ice palace and no, it doesn't give us total rock entrance. We don't have ether. Yeah, we're still missing that stuff. I think that's it. But it also gives us, you know, Smith and purple chest and all those fun checks. Yeah. We are still missing dungeons, though, so one of those locations could have one of our dungeons. Those mitts could be required. Now, the fire rod is definitely required, so hopefully FaZe does do left side. Whether he does it now or after is, doesn't matter. Yeah, Top Life taking the objectively correct uh, route here on GT routing in a cross-key situation. Very nice, and it looks like FaZe will do the same. Honestly, the only reason not to do this route, and the reason why I typically will do compass first here, is because the one time I tried this route, I just forgot. <laughs> but if you get used to it, it's fine. Oh, we got red Yoshi now. We're going to lose our purple Yoshi. Okay, I, I, I still haven't seen any numbers as to which is faster and how much faster it is. Uh, Diver Down, uh, my my expectation is that Diver Down, if you get it first try, is faster than just grabbing the key and flooding it. However, if you uh, have to do it several tries, um, at some point it becomes slower, and I don't know when. <laughs> Alright, we get the Master Sword Argus fight. Big fan of using the spins here. Nice thing about Master Sword compared to Fighter Sword is that you actually, if you mess up a spin, you can still slash. Yeah, good All double right. spins so far here. There's the Fire Rod in the midst for phase. And there's our swap to some slash strats. Uh, top left doesn't have silver arrows yet, so we're probably going to use one of the rods. A very nice ice rod kill. Small key? I mean, it had to be, right? It had to be pod, right? <laughs> I mean, with three in the big key then for phase, like, I don't hate that as a, a next play. No, yeah. You can you can do the back, and then you can... I mean, I okay, you could beat the boss and then go to the back. We go to the back and beat the boss either way. Uh, what are we missing at this point? Besides, we, we're missing some entrances. But in terms of items, what are we missing? We're missing... Wait, do we even know our last pendant? We don't. <laughs> no, it looks like we know Meyer is a pendant and that's it. Okay, so Meyer's a pendant, Easter's a pendant. We don't know our last pendant. Uh, so we might need a desert big key. Um... We might need Bombos for the Turtle Rock entrance. Aw, oh, the purple Yoshi was much better than the gold Yoshi. Boo. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, did I say Bombos? Ether for, for the entrance at, for entrances. Well, it's, if, if Desert were a pendant can we get everything once we find entrances i believe the answer is yes i think we still have a spare tr key um i mean logically we don't have the pod smalls but we don't care yeah logically we don't have the tr keys but <laughs> we care even less about tr because we can full but that is TR a crystal the desert oh, okay we okay an we, pendant hera we need the desert big Gosh darn, not in item go mode. And, and that's a good time to check your map. Right? You, you, you have most of the information, and you see if you have maps to fill in the rest of the information.
Nice silver shot to finish off Argus on Phase's side. So that's going to be two crystals now for Phase uh, one with a second incoming for Top Life. Um, and realistically, the flute has more value now for Top Life with those mm -hmm. mints. Yep. Like it was, it was, it was important but not huge, given that our start points weren't the worst at this point. But now that like Top Life has easy access to something like the Mire area, yeah. I don't think we have anything left to really do there. Did we get spit out of the Mystery Mire entrance? I'm, I'm trying to figure out if we if that's an entrance we need to check. We haven't yet. Okay, so we, we do need to check that if we get Ether. So right now, um, not really useful. But you know, if you can, you know, our, our it's nicer to be able to. Um, flute to the mountain for some things. Uh, we do have this the uh, floating island connector, which is not bad. And really is a bigger deal for FaZe to get that flute. Although I think that was through another connector. Oh, here we go. Skull for uh, FaZe. Oh yeah, we can do this now. Yeah. Top Life knows where this is, but did not have a fire source coming in here. And we could even do it in logic. Well, I'm not counting. Oh, no, he's got three skull with small keys. It's actually totally in logic. That, that, that's got to be illegal, right? Like, <laughs> this is skull like full with... health and TR levels of legality. I, I, I just know, can't right? believe it. Why are we even killing know, You this? don't need the key. You have two. <laughs> I mean, Skull Woods is... is in cross keys because of that pinball key that I again hope never goes away. Um, this this boss, the moth is always behind the moon pearl. Yeah. I know there was a uh, the recent casual boots cross keys or boots sword start cross keys did some changes to that. Hey, that's our first bottle. Oh gosh. Only only <laughs> 90 minutes in. <laughs> We haven't found Sick Kid yet, so it's fine. <laughs> we did find Sick Kid. Oh, we did. Oh, we did. Yeah, that was very early. See, it was so early, I don't remember it. <laughs> I mean. I wouldn't want to take little things like that out, even if we were to, you know, even moving or not moving the pinball small key, because the quirks are funny. Like in the cross crease tournament that just recently ended, I, I learned a new quirk that says the uh, castle, the front castle entrance isn't in logic if uh, Ganon is at the castle drop down. Hmm. Be because you could kill Aga and not be able to get there. So you have to. So it's a mirror locked. And more checks here. We've got the mini Moldorm cave at King's Tomb. It's a five five chests. Five chests. Oh. I mean, we're still... I don't think we've even found Hype Cave yet. You're right, we haven't. So we've got some high-density locations to still get to. A sword is nice. And a Turtle Rock small. Hey, it's, that's... Oh, that's Turtle Rock 2. <laughs> it's still not in logic, but we don't care. Um... Oh, and Magic Bat. Let's see if this is Magic Bat. Hey, look, it's Magic Bat. <laughs> we had a feeling it had to show up somewhere. And Top Life is going to give us a new entrance. Hey, speaking of Hype Cave. Small key to ice. Yeah. I missed the, the bat. Small key to Turtle Rock. <laughs> Another sword. <laughs> That was 300 rupees, okay. Well, hey, we can go Thanks, buy chat. things. We can buy potions that we don't need because we got a blue one. I don't know. <laughs> and yeah, Ted. Uh, that is the most useless Ted hint possible, by the way. 
a small, small key to Meyer doesn't Meyer. tell oh, wouldn't tell you God. anything. It's <laughs> Meyer's a pendant. All that means is that left side Meyer is locked behind Ped. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine if the, if if left side My Meyer had our desert big, so we'd have the logical pet seed that we would never yeah. ever actually pull pet for? <laughs> I mean, if we didn't even know that this that Meyer was a pendant, like it'd be funny just to be like, "Well, that doesn't even tell me if you're a pet or, or a pendant or." Yeah, I know, right? Like, <laughs> like a a small key to swamp. Uh, says that Swamp is a a crystal because And so do most dungeons. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it, Meyer's small keys are just weird. Like you don't yeah. need a single small key to, to clear that dungeon. And and yet you have all this weird logic because behind the big key and this is where all the weird what where a lot of the weird key logic comes from. Behind the big key there is a small key door to a like thirty rupee room. Like, it's not even hardly yeah. any. You know, that's that's where, I mean, that's why Ice Palace uh, key logic is bad, too, is because there are two small key doors behind the big key door. <laughs> Ice Palace logic is completely inscrutable, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to see. We're seeing the back of Pod here. And uh, Top Life went ahead and used a key on Harmless Hellway. We'll probably save the key that he has uh, for Helmosaur, because otherwise you, you don't want to be in Pod small key go mode, that's for sure. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that does mean we are leaving the uh, the big key chest. There is a big key to... Oh, no. Yeah, <laughs> that's not <sighs> what you want to see. That is no. not what you want to see. <laughs> So Gans Tower Big Key, so Climb now available, yay. So we can clear the rest of Gans Tower if, if we want. There's nothing behind Aga 2, if anybody's wondering. We got the, the Hyrule Castle small key super early, and the uh, Sanctuary is at the Pyramid. Okay, so Phase is going to go back up the mountain, so should be getting the flute shortly, just in a, a slightly different method. Oh wait, was Flute on Floating Island? I thought Flute was no, it was near that was spot to to um bumper no yeah to bumper ledge. Oh hey, we can do both checks here in Castle Tower. We came in here way early and couldn't do. I mean. If you want to waste a bunch of bombs, I suppose you could have gotten this chest type situation. Uh, Top Life did get that chest, if I remember correctly. He did it later. I think Top, yeah, Top Life came in with a sword. Right, because he, he came in with the sword much later. But now we can get the second chest. But yeah, FaZe in particular came in here with like three hearts and bombs. Well, that was nothing. We have a small key. I forgot about this small key. Now, FaZe hasn't done these two checks yet, though. Want we'll to see what the item is. I forget what small key that was, though. Yeah, because we see all... I think Top Life hit it from the other side. Yes, he hit it from the other side, then bomb jumped to this side. I don't know that we ever saw the exit. Nah, we don't need a second bottle. We got a bottle of blue already. We got temperature, we got silvers. And it's very interesting, you know, we were talking about 30 minutes ago about no crystals and very short order, both of our runners up to their third mm -hmm. with the ability to get more. 
or sorry, uh, four crystals actually for Phase. Yeah, and I believe that was Phase's fourth pod small there. There, oh, the flu was on the tablet. Okay. Okay. We were both wrong. <laughs> yep, we knew it was on the mountain, just forgot where. Still looking for back a desert. Ice Palace. Still need that desert big. Ice Palace would be nice right now. I mean, yeah, eight checks. Uh, we have Tempered Sword. We have Fire Rod for it. We have all the half magic of Blood Old Blue just in case. Okay, Hammer Pegs, new check. There's the back of desert. Oh. But we don't have a big key, so we can't do anything with it yet. Okay, this is going to be fluid activation for phase. So, Top Life not getting full time to ad take advantage of the flute, at, or Top Life not getting much advantage there on the flute while. Phase didn't get a huge advantage off the boots, I'd say. So kind of yeah. balancing out. Yeah, I think that's a, a fair assessment. Uh, it looks like Top Left's going to go do right side GT. And we'll see if he could climb. We'll see if he does. It's only four items. Uh, Top Left can't. Oh, he hasn't GT gotten the big key yet. Yeah. Okay, well, then... Unless there's something in the GT big chest, that's better. <laughs> Although, to be fair, with our limited number of small keys, since he's got, he's entering with two, so yeah, you could get to the chat, the big chest from this direction, and still have a key for the climb. Yeah, he's got three on his tracker, so yeah. Compass is called Woods. Bombs. Bombs. Map. Okay. Nice game. Yep. We are not climbing. Now, I mean, to be fair, uh, those checks are locked behind four GT Smalls, so it's not a huge surprise that there's nothing there. Well, so Mini Helma is just locked behind the big key, bow, and fire. Oh, I know. Yeah, the climb. Like, like, you don't need is... any small keys for the, for the first yeah. chest of the climb. I have actually seen a seed where a runner did the climb with, I don't know if it was, how many small keys they had doing that climb, but found two small keys on the climb. Yeah. So, it's... <laughs> so the climb's a little scarier uh, in terms of items. So yeah, there could be something there. Yeah, it's, it's a deceptively low requirement to climb GT. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, sick kid. See, we saw this, like, minutes in. He's only got 20 yeah. bucks, though. And we will shortly be tied up in crystals. No, wait. Four and four. Oh, right, because FaZe has done Skull Woods and Top Life has done Pod. Okay. I, I can read a tracker. <laughs> I mean, I understand... Oh, oh my God! There, there's our lamp, folks. <laughs> there's the casual one forty-two lamp. <laughs> I mean, I guess it make it, it'll make the the pod dark rooms a little bit easier. Hey, that green pendant's in logic now. <laughs> We're one step closer to logical Meyer Smalky. Actually, Meyer's looking really good right now. I mean, if I found Meyer, I would totally just... We have found Meyer. Oh, right. Oh, right. We found it really early, but we couldn't do anything. Because yeah. no, no boots, no hook. Yeah. Yeah. I mean... Let's see. Desert Big Key and Find Ice. Is there a go mode? I, I might continue to check rate... entrances for, the, uh, for, the, for Ice Palace first. 
Here's the thing, like, what entrances do we have left? Well, Pyramid Fairy's dead in the sense of, of Ice Palace. Right. So we have, if Aether shows up, we have the two medallion entrances. But I think that's almost it. Like, I that's the part right. that has me. It's like... How, have we done ice? Yes, we saw okay. it on Phase inside. Phase has hit a bit more on the entrances. Yeah, there's that GT big key. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that Ether might show up in uh, Mire at this rate. Which is kind of funny when you think about it, since it would open yeah. up Mire. <laughs> I would imagine FaZe will, in, it will... That they'll do their respective dungeons that they're missing first. Uh, FaZe having to do Pod, uh, Top Life having to do Skull Woods. Uh, Graveyard Ledge was Skull Woods. If I'm not mistaken. Yes. Speaking of Graveyard Ledge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Low-key, one of the best uh, early caves to find in the game because of all those bombs. Okay, here's Desert back for, for phase. Realizes he can't do it. But well, we might get Smith Chain. Yeah, this would be the place to do it. When you mold him for top life. We're gonna do pod first. This makes sense. Yeah. And I imagine FaZe will make the same small key decision in terms of opening up Harmless Hallway versus the, the uh, big key chest. Meanwhile, we got a gold sword for top life. Yeah, our, our third and fourth swords were in um, Hype Cave and Mini Moldorm Cave. <laughs> Top life's route here working out a little less effectively than phase. Phase able to hit skull there, and I and I believe top knows that that is skull. Yes, he's he's absolutely been there because he walked in no fire source with a small key. Uh, grab the uh, the bridge chest. Nice to have the lamp for this room. Although with fire rod, it's not terrible. Just got to make sure you hit that torch. Yeah. Nice cape dash. Good double bomb to start. Is, it, is this Meyer? It's, it is yes. Meyer. Yep, here we go. So with only one light, item left in Skull Woods, it kind of makes sense for Top Life to go ahead and, and not do it right away. And it is right near the, the Ganon drop. So if you finish with Skull Woods, you're right there again. And so that's a, certain, a little bit of an, of an efficiency that Top Life might be able to get if he can hold off on the Skull Woods play. Yeah, I think the only thing that would worry me is like that's that check is in logic. Mm -hmm. Yep. And like that could be your go mode. We know it's not. Yep. But like I, it would really eat at me knowing that's a dungeon oh, I can sure. clear. For sure. So we're going to do the Pedlocked uh, 
Myers three small key checks. We're gonna do just one of them. <laughs> We've only got time for torches one. Torch vanilla <laughs> torches no. Nothing in Mire. And Faze using his small keys the same way the top wife did. Yeah, is this is. In... I, I don't want to say objectively oh. right, but it's objectively oh. a good way. Yeah, school big. <laughs> Thanks, game. <laughs> oh, nice fetch quest. And chat pointing out that was Top's first bottle. <laughs> nice. We thought it was bad with how long it took FaZe to get a bottle. Top almost getting to an hour and 50 minutes. But yeah, what I was going to say, though, is that the if the answer is the Dark Palace uh, big key chest, they will both get to it late because they both have left it. I mean, typically, you'll see runners will choose... When, when the choice becomes uh, big key chest versus... Um, Harmless Hellboy, you typically leave the big key chest uh, if you have the big key because you don't want to have to run to the back just for, for yeah. Harmless Hellboy. Whereas the big key chest is a much quicker check to get to. This is going to be Silvers for top and Butter Sword for phase yep. coming up. And really, the only difference here is just a. Like, we had a majority of Meyer check over on top side does skip out on Vidi uh, and FaZe has that skull clear. Yeah, unfortunately FaZe doesn't have that skull. It's a big key to check to make that check, so might have to triple dip as well. There's the lamp for top life. Just gonna buy some potions because he didn't get the blue one. And FaZe gets the fun news about Ped. <laughs> now, FaZe with the GT big key before he does the right side, does he climb? He's he really running out there. of stuff. Yeah, I mean, right now we're, we're down to... Between the two runners, we're down to those checks admire the top left didn't do. GT climb and probably some things I'm forgetting, but... Have we seen, uh, oh, have we seen pot entrance? That's where FaZe is going right now. Uh, I think we saw it on top side. Well, FaZe certainly hasn't seen it because he's dragging Kiki. Yeah, I think we did see this. It's just Mimic Cave. But I don't think... Was Top able to do this check? You, maybe not. I don't know if he had the hammer or not. In the end, it doesn't matter because it's just a piece of heart. Don't need it. And this is gonna be this is gonna be Meyer this for Faze. This is Meyer for Faze. We'll see if he does any more of it than Top Lift did. And this is gonna be Top Life finding out also needing Ether for TR. So 
surprisingly hadn't checked this entrance earlier. Love putting the mirror portal on the regular portal. Oh, he didn't see this either? No. Okay. But where are we going? Desert. Oh, he hasn't turned in this the small key here. And FaZe had the small key when he did desert, so he was able to do this a while ago. Yeah. Yeah, the hair big key, which we probably don't need. And unfortunately not getting that uh, that clip. So both runners skipping the cutscene. Honestly, I this is coming down to who plays for GT or, or Vitrius. if there's something in Meyer. Yeah. I mean, funny like, enough, I would have. I thought no. <laughs> yeah, you know what? We have not done that yet. There's that Skull Woods big key. That's what we have left. We have the the locations in Meyer that neither runner has done. This looks like Faze is going to go ahead and do Viddy. And Top going to go after the Smith chain, possibly leading into a GT play. Because yeah, you don't you don't do this strat where you hook to that chest if you're not going to go ahead and, and beat the dungeon. The thing is, like, not doing the cutscene, I mean, you could say that it's behind the pedestal, and therefore... I mean, we haven't not... found Hera, so I get it. Yeah, it, that's true. We haven't found Hera. Hera could be at GT entrance, in which case that, that Meyer Small is never going to be in logic before we get seven crystals. Nice red so that would be the argument there. for not doing it, but it also could be that the Meyer big key, the, sorry, the Meyer small keys are just on the GT climb. Oh, oh, not the sorry, the, the uh, I had that completely backwards. Um, could just be behind the Ether medallion, which could also be behind the GT climb. Like there are there are there are ways that those uh, that those can come into logic. Hera could also be behind... Well, no. If, if Hera were behind the big bomb, that also would uh, negate anything being there. Uh, I mean, it could still be desert big. Right. No, I... I okay, let me... Oh, right. Desert Sorry. Could be there. Uh, I, yeah. I'm, I'm mixing up all my logics here. Um, yeah, there's a lot going on now, and yep. he is not the answer. <laughs> <laughs> and knowing that we don't need Ped, we're just going to save and quit out of the room. But okay, so so it's yeah. So Ice Palace has nothing to do with that. Desert Big Key could be anywhere. Um, that's the item we're looking for. We just know the Pyramid Fairy won't get us anything. Won't get us actual Ice Palace because we need Ice Palace speed. Oh, it's on the purple. Chassis. There we go. That gives us two entrances, two and entrances. I yeah, one of these has to be Ice or Hera, like. Or both. I don't know. Ice has to be one of the two. I mean, it can't be anywhere yeah, else. I, I think you're right. I think I think this is literally all we have left. And FaZe looks like he's also going for the Smith. I was worried that might have been a alleged jump for GT. So it could be. You can take the Smith all the way through GT. I mean, oh, no. credit where it's due for the uh, the memes. 
GT is not a, is not a uh, crystal, <laughs> so you can take <laughs> the Smith in. <laughs> this is a froggy tour, and it's not even a frog; it's a Smith tour. Yeah. But it looks like the answer was not at Meyer, so top left gonna head back over to uh, Turtle Rock. Now, if FaZe climbs or opens the GT big chest and finds the Desert Big Key, then none of this matters. If Desert Big Key is just an ice palace, then Top Life has, uh, I think, a pretty sizable lead at this point. Yeah. I think we're going to the big chest. There's really no reason to grab that key if you're just climbing. The mini Helma key will work just fine. And yeah, this should be ice at TR. Oh, that's rude. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten bopped in that room. It's, it's, it's... It is so rare. That's <laughs> and here we go, Ice Palace and GT Big Chest. It's just a bottle. Are we climbing? We are climbing. So to stay in this in this race, Phase needs the Desert Big Key to be up here. Amazing how the this the Smith there doesn't take any damage from those spikes. I mean, he's he's very light, I guess. Doesn't trip them. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I guess he's just riding Yoshi. It's all good. They just oh, that show makes even more <laughs> sense. Okay, so far we haven't gotten anything in ice. Should really be paying attention to that because it's going to be a little bit of time before before Phase actually gets to the checks. There's that's a big, a big key. key to desert. It is that's... a desert big key. That that's go that, mode for yeah. top life, and he doesn't even need to check anything else in this dungeon. Has literally all the safety items you could possibly want. Has has red mail, silver arrows, yep, and top knows it. Uh, um, Gold sword, uh, cape, uh, like bottles with stuff in them. <laughs> and you know, realistically, the Smith Chain has been sitting there for a while. Yep. It's honestly, it's one of those like plays that I think a lot of cross keys players are just kind of like, you don't want to see mids because it puts this available and it yes. just never feels great. Yes, because it's there's mostly there's very few things that are well there's nothing else that's hard locked by by uh, the myths in cross keys. Um, guaranteed, right? You know, some some seeds like you don't have Meyer access until you have myths. But other seeds you you get yourself spit out of a bunch of connectors that gives you all the stuff and the myths open like two entrances, you know. And the sixth pod small. <laughs> Actually, those only the fifth pod small. <laughs> uh, so I'm I'm calling a pod small on the climb here. I mean, we did also skip some extra checks and ice. Could have been here. That's true. We have Mike asking, how much time do you save doing GT Climb with boots versus not? And Tam Five just years. saying yes. <laughs> <laughs> I 
And yeah, this is going to work out well for Top Life. It's going to get that uh, go mode. Uh, get, well, I mean, desert. You, there's nothing there. Uh, but he's going to be able to do Skullwood's last right into Ganon. That's going to work out really well. Yeah, you said that was a possibility. And, you know, I wasn't sure, but it's going to work out very nicely. Desert into Skull into Ganon. This is a really nice route to finish out the seed. Mm -hmm. Called it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought it maybe we were going to get the uh, Aga 2 just to get that last chest in the back of Escape <laughs> for phase, but no. Oh, no. Please no. <laughs> I think at this I point mean, you just figure that if the answer was there, my opponent's long done and, and he's not, so... So there's the crystal lead now for top life with just skull to go and skull is just it's probably one of the fastest dungeons we could have had yep unfortunately we never got to see hera and it's either at gt or at or the pyramid, pyramid. Hera, yeah yeah And, you know, if you're phase and you got that fifth pod small and that's all you got on the GT climb, of course you're going to check this. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. like at this point, it's there's just not really. It was a close race throughout and it just came down to that choice of do I prioritize yeah. Smith chain or do I prioritize GT climb? And yeah, I, I think mean... if phase sticks with the, the Smith chain, this is a race. Yep. Because well, phase was up the skull. Yep. So the thing is about cross keys is you you can't judge how close a race is all the time based on finish times because of those exact things. Like you know when when you have those decision forks, um, you know one person zigs while the other person zags could be the 10, 20 minute difference, and that's what we're seeing here. Where is he taking this purple chest? Skull big chest. I think. We don't. I mean, you can. I think. Yeah. Because the drop well, down. Well, you can just leave it outside. Oh, yeah, that's true. It's funny how in this game, every follower acts differently. Smoking again's tower. But with that top life into the Ganon fight. It might have been really interesting if if that desert big key had been sitting up there in the GT climb. Yeah, uh, that would have made a really interesting finish at the race. But it just seems so often that if you hit the right answer, it just chains into the rest of what you need. And that's going to be the you know we talked about how wild last week was with the Ganon hunt. Yeah. Uh, Cross keys is very different but also the same in that regard like there are mm -hmm. just so many times you get somebody kind of 
you know, hits the right route here and yep. it just works out nicely and doesn't matter who is a better player or a worse player, like sometimes luck does play a factor in this mode. All right, and Top Life gonna finish this off with an official race time of 208.37. Uh, yeah, really important win. Yeah, really important win for the uh, the cross keys today. Was there something we missed in desert, or is this the fastest way to get up to TR entrance? Did he just never check the torch? I guess not. I mean, I, I, this isn't the way you get to Floating Island. That would be the fastest no. way, potentially the fastest way to get there. Uh, I was like, no, that was smart. Okay, that's not the fastest way. Yeah, <laughs> and I will say, uh, top our phase does decide to throw in the forfeit, having seen the finish from Top Life, who is now joining us. GG. Yeah, that was certainly an interesting seed. Um, you didn't scout the race game. No. <laughs> Which was interesting. Now, now let me let me preface this by saying I am one of the few people that is like you. I don't scout the race game either, but I also get very nervous about that location once I can get it. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, unfortunately, it was the last mirror spot I picked, mm -hmm. but also I don't really think I cost that much. In the end, it didn't. You got the flute earlier because what basically what kind of happened was uh, Phase had seen the boots. Uh, but he didn't rush to it either as quickly as like I would have. <laughs> um, but you got the flute in in earlier uh, and got a little bit about kind of the same advantage with the flute that Faze got with the boots. So it actually kind of ended up uh, coming out in the wash a little bit there. But it was just kind of funny, like you 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 went to into GT without the boots. It's like they're right there. Go just go get them. <laughs> Well, I wanted to end the route on the race game, so... Mm -hmm. uh, but it was kind of a little bit sad, because I was searching for a dam, so... Very much, I just wanted to find a dam. Mm -hmm. And, uh... Mm -hmm. I, everything was used, and then I find the boots and the dam is right next to me. It's like... Hmm. <laughs> Especially when Swan Palace had... Pretty much what I felt was mostly what I was searching for. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, there was one lacking item, so... Yeah, the, the desert big key. Um, yeah, in the end, this race was really, really close until the decision uh, uh, top life. You grabbing and turning in the purple chest phase, you going back into GT and climbing. Uh, it's kind of fun to watch the climb with the smith, but uh, unfortunately, it, uh, it was not the correct answer in this seed. Yeah. GG top life. GG. Yeah, certainly uh, the early game, um, there was, it, it just felt like everything was sparse. Like, how long was it before we got crystals? You both full cleared Eastern for nothing as your first dungeon. Uh, I want to say it was over 90 minutes before anyone had a crystal in this seed. And then they kind of came a little fast and furious, but... Yeah. I was at a point, like I had basically Thieves Town, Swamp, and Pot were all... Uh, beatable within mm -hmm. three minutes or so. Yep. Yep. Yeah, Top Life unfortunately found Skull Woods uh, before the fire, before a fire source. I was going to say before the fire rod. Um, which meant you, you just had to leave it, which actually worked out really well for you because you were able to leave it t to the end and then jump right into Ganon. Oh, was that kind of oh. your plan? Is that why you were leaving it to the end as much as it didn't, didn't go back to it sooner? Yeah, it was pretty much that. I just saw uh, Gan and Skullwoods just lining up on the map, and it's just like, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm not going there before I find Desert uh, Vicky. <laughs> yeah, FaZe, you probably figured out by now the... Uh, the Desert Big Key that you were looking for was just in Ice Palace. Yeah. Uh, it would have been really interesting if the Desert Big Key had popped on the climb. Yeah, I can admit. And then but, you uh, each would have had to switch and do the other thing. Yeah. But I basically told this to Top Life to right after he finished. Because, like, I had pretty much the rest figured out. Mm -hmm. I think GT climb was 
My last location besides, yep. or like, um, purple chest was last location besides my picky chest. Yep. So yeah, and, and, and if, if there's a 50 50 chance that Hera's just sitting there, sorry, it's a 50 50 chance that, uh, yeah, because to get that key, you need Hera, uh, logically. Uh, yes. You may be just yeah. add GT, like, maybe the only other location we didn't see was the Pyramid Ferry. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Did I kill Waitress? But, um, say it marked up on the mark record. Yep. Yep. We got a. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got a video kill from FaZe, I think. Yep. Yeah. But, oh, he didn't grab the pendant. That's why it's not marked. Uh, yeah, exactly. No point. Yeah, I was right. hoping uh, he would have gone for a uh, Witte kill. That was kind of the main hope I had. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, mo mostly when I just run to the finish line, it's just like, yeah, please don't lose by 30 seconds because I had an issue with a cat jumping in front of the screen at the wrong time in third line. <laughs> <laughs> Those darn cats. <laughs> but yeah, it was so mean to see the, the boots there. Like just give me the mirror so I can grab them. I <laughs> know, right? You 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 took your time getting back to those boots though. <laughs> yeah, I figured I since I have the mirror I I will uh combine it with mirroring on Bumpledge mm -hmm. and stuff. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, Top Life didn't even scout the boots and uh end up in yeah. GT without them <laughs> before getting them. Oh, okay. GT was the last uh, entrance I had left on the whole map with the current equipment. <laughs> Damn. And then I got this after. Yeah, that pod was pretty nice to start the, the front. <laughs> Hookshot, oh, yeah. hammer, and <laughs> bow. Bo yeah, bow and, and, and hammer. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was yeah. pretty funny. And then you got another small key, so you actually could have done some of the back checks if you wanted to. Both of you decided not to. Uh, oh, yeah. nice. I mean, I, I could have... I agree with you there. Yeah. Like, I was at a point where I could have just beaten pot with my second key and never gone back there. Hmm. Yeah, because there was nothing there. Yeah. And then shout out to uh, It was all out of logic, and uh, yep. I'd, I'd read so much just opened up. So it's just like, no. Yeah, there was a funny moment. I think it was. I think it was Phase that found Mini Moldorm Cave and Top Life shortly thereafter, finding Hype Cave, and those were your third and fourth swords. <laughs> nice. So nice. that was kind of kind of funny um, after being on Master Sword for quite a while. It was so strange yeah. because I never found. It took so long before I found any of the five item caves. Yeah. And even when I see it open up, it was still too lucky. Like... I mean, one of them was behind Left Side Swap, so. <laughs> yeah. The other one, Maya area, and. The mirror there locked the other one. Yeah, I was so just like, please give me a mirror and light cell. No, I blind cell. It was so, be so nice to just get a mirror since I found my area. Yeah. And then my heart just sunk when the four first chest and nothing. <laughs> All right, now let's see. Top life cross keys. Uh, that puts you at uh, eighteen points. Uh, so six and five. Uh, in pretty decent position for that last playoff spot in your division. Uh, how are you feeling yeah. about that? Uh, well, I was um, hoping to have at least three point lead before last week because uh, it might be a bit tough for us. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we got those three points, but of course, uh, we gladly take more. <laughs> of course. Uh, of course, uh, you can play the pugs next week, so that's a tough one, but... Uh... Yeah, and I don't think uh, either Dante or Andy has any problem with animals here. I no. Probably <laughs> Matt doesn't have either, so... I mean, but things happen. <laughs> yeah, animals or anything can happen, especially mm -hmm. with uh, Boss Shuffle. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and, and I know the uh, the boots start 
that I believe was originally put in specifically because to make it nasty with the Sauda sword. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, unfortunately for you, FaZe, we're still uh, at 12 points. It's going to be a rough rough go to try and get in there. I don't know that... Uh, Jesse, maybe you know. I don't know if you're out of it yet. Um, um, get to 7 and 7, I suppose. So that's, that could could do it. They're definitely not out of it. Mm -hmm. still, uh, it depends on the next match for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Our teams. And then we have Team Heeman next week. Mm. Another playoff contender. Yeah, I, I, yeah. Most of this division is a playoff contender, I'd say. So yeah. Yeah, yeah so unfortunately, like that uh, matchup with Hime could definitely be a almost a double knockout situation for the two mm -hmm. of you. Uh, yeah, if you split, uh, yeah, <laughs> that's a thing that can happen. Um, yeah, both sitting at four and seven right now. Uh, so could be a tough end of the season for sure to try to claw in. Now, do you have your other race for this week scheduled? Uh, I think not scheduled yet, but they're probably gonna play on Saturday, as far as I know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw Fager the Junior something. versus Brief. Mm -hmm. That'll be a good one. All right. Anything else that you want to add uh, before we go ahead and close this out? I just want to say I'm. Um, Really happy that I finally got to race against Top Life. <laughs> nice. Because, like, in two and a half years of me playing, I never had the chance. And now oh. finally. Because, like, I I chose my Yoshi Sprite right at the start and stuck with it. And I kind of always looked up to the other Yoshi players. I, I, I do have to say that we need to put a rule in that you're not allowed to get red mail. Because that purple, <laughs> that purple Yoshi is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> but I do like the gold Yoshi. <laughs> yeah, I, I also but, really yeah. like this matchup, M mostly because uh, Face and I have been loved to throw out that Dino Dance emote and chat whenever we see each other. <laughs> it like, so. mm -hmm. Exactly. Anyway, it was a, it was a fun race to call, fun race to watch. Uh, good luck to both of you and your teams in the rest of the season. Thank you. Thank, thank you. All right. Uh, Jesse, you want to go through the schedule? You're good at that. <laughs> yeah. So. Lots well, of stuff going our, on tonight. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's the evening for these races, so you got a bit of a lull in the afternoon. Uh, 7, 10 p.m. Eastern time. We got two races kicking off, one on Speed Gaming 2. Homemade Beer versus Recitador. Beats from the East and Terra Enigma is a great game. Uh, at Also at 7, 10, Speed Gaming 4. Dapper War Man and R.D. Walsh. Amish Paradise versus Tower Roomies. Uh, 30 minutes later after that, we've got Relkin versus Adirondack Rick. That's two Infinity and Pagog versus the Bomb Squad. Going to be on SG3. And then uh, the late one tonight, 9, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Maximum Barnage versus Telethar. Bottles on Empty versus the Salt Miners on Speed Gaming. Uh, that is going to be a hot matchup. Um, mm -hmm. If you haven't yep. seen the Lost Woods division, <laughs> which I believe the... Uh, the Beats Terra Enigma game is also uh, Lost Woods yes, Division. it is. And so it's Relkin and Rick. Uh, three matches in Lost Woods tonight, and that division is probably the most log jammed. Uh, oh, I think we sure. had three teams, like third through sixth, are all five and five entering the week. Yeah, yeah so absolutely crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, then and. and you know, two teams at six and four, and one team at four and three going in. So yeah, that's uh, yeah. and and even beats from the east only at seven and three. So yeah, lots to be decided over there. Yep. So any team could you know rise into playoffs or fall out this week. Um. So three very important matches. All of those teams are actually, I think, beside. I think Terra Enigma is a little bit on the outside looking in right now. Mm -hmm. But Beats, Pagog, Bomb Squad, Bottles, and Salt Miners all are in the thick of this for sure. And Terra Enigma can definitely play spoiler or creep their, themselves back in. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So uh, be there fun, are some, some fun open, races today. <laughs> there are some open matches going on today. Uh, I don't see any restreams for those. If you want to watch any of them, uh, there are links in the League Discord. 
with uh, links to multi-streams for each of those. So if you really want to see some Open League matches as well and see all the cross keys this week, do make sure to check it out. Yeah, otherwise, yeah, that's going to pretty much do it for us. Um, uh, the shout-outs to our runners, FaZe and Top Life, doing a great job. If you're not already following them, go ahead and click on the links in chat and go ahead and follow them. Um, we had Nochibato on the tracking, doing a great job as always. Trackers always are MVP. And Jesse, it was a pleasure as always to call a race with you. Always enjoy it. All right. And yeah, that's going to do it for us. We'll see you this evening. Have a good rest of your day.